it's like okay, so we're gonna be talking about the midheaven, the tenth house. You know, that house ruled by Capricorn and Saturn that pretty much dictates your public image in a sense where um, it's how people see you online or at work and yeah, and how you achieve things. You know, I'm going to be talking about how each midheaven um, achieves goals, I guess. That's how what I'm exactly going to talk about. Where the drive lands in the midheavens and how they achieve said goals that are long term. Anyways, cue that cringy intro, fam. Um, why am I, um, doing the Midheaven first? Well, I'm gonna tell you why. Basically, um, the midheaven, like I said, is your public image, your public persona, your public whatever, how you act at work or on the internet. And where are we right now? The internet. The beautiful place called the internet. You don't know what you're gonna find here. You're gonna find some really weird shit. But other than that, you're not seeing my ascendant at the moment. You're seeing my very, um, influenced Midheaven. So, that's what you're seeing for me right now. You're not seeing what I, what face I put on at parties or, like, the face I put on when I first meet people. You're seeing a totally different face from me. <laughs> and usually, um, when you see um, someone's content or hear it or I'm not really sure you know when when you see someone on social media or hear someone on social media you are probably you you are getting their midheaven and usually the midheaven squares the ascendance mine doesn't but usually that's the case so basically I guess I am just going to talk about what you know from the internet and the people from the internet rather than um, what you'd see from these people on the internet at parties. I might do another video explaining how the sun signs would be at parties if you want me to, but we're going to be talking about how the midheavens conquer their goals. So let's move on with the Leo midheaven. So this is the fifth sign. And, yeah, this is the sun. This is the winged eyeliner, like, in the last, um, uh, segment I did. So, basically, the winged eyeliner, you know, the sun, the one that's taking the show away, you know, them, they approach their projects with confidence. And their charisma, their dedication, you know, they also have a humble vibe to them, you know, they want positive vibes, okay? They want to take their friends on board, you know, they want to make sure that everyone's okay and that they can help people out sometimes, you know, I don't know, I'm gonna name some pretty problematic examples, um, Rich Lux, he sent people literal, um, like samples, <laughs> but he's an actual Leo son, so he's not a Leo Midheaven, I, I don't think so at least, I could be very wrong. But, you know, that's like kind of an example of Leo humbleness, you know. They try to give back because, you know, that's how Leo is. They're loyal to the people who are, you know, giving them feedback, you know. They return the attention later on. You know, if you give attention to them, they will return it. But you gotta give attention to them. So, basically, they do give back in a sense. They do... You know, they just want a good vibe. They want to create because Leo rules over creation and romance and uh, fun sex. <laughs> that was a really bad cough. But basically, that wasn't even, even a cough, what? Anyways, basically that's like what Leo is. They want to create and they want to enlighten others. And that's just how they roll. Um, an example of a Leo midheaven is Katy Perry. Uh, she's also problematic. <laughs> yep, I'm just mentioning all the problematics here, okay? Basically, when it comes to Katy Perry, 
um, you know, you can kind of see that, you know, she does go above and beyond. She makes sure she is the boss when it comes to her music videos, I guess. When it came, when it, like, you know, the 2008 Warped Tour, when she was on that, um, she was seen as lazy and, you know, not paying attention to other people when she basically worked her ass off the whole entire tour. You know, she was talking to linemen, she was, like, you know, setting up record deals and everything. So, you know, you gotta give her that at least, you know. She was loyal to her projects and did whatever whatever she could to shine and get where she is. Y you know, that that's one example. <laughs> um, I'm not sure of other examples of Leo Midheavens. If you want to leave them down below, then please do. <laughs> Thank you.